on friends, my name is Rosa and today we're going to be starting our seven day Super Bowl recipe series. So I'm going to be sharing different recipe, simple snack recipe ideas so that you guys can serve to your guests during the game, but also so you can sit down, relax and enjoy the game as well. So I'm excited to share this and you see I have my team on. Of course, because I'm a Cowboys fan, even though they're not going to the Super Bowl this year, I'm still excited. So anyway, I'm ready to share the series with you. So let's go. So today we'll be making our chocolate mini ganache cakes. So in the bowl, we're going to put one and a half cup of flour, one cup of sugar, a third cup of cacao powder, or you can use cocoa powder, one teaspoon of baking powder, and you know I like to sift the baking powder, get all those clumps out. And a half a teaspoon of baking soda, sift that as well. And one fourth teaspoon of salt. Give that a nice stir. And you can also sift your cocoa powder if it has clumps in it, but this will be fine. So next to the bowl, we're gonna add one cup of plant-based milk. I use almond milk, half a cup of coconut oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna give that a nice stir. It's gonna be a nice thick batter because these are gonna be like fudgy cakes. Be sure to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. So I'm using this six cup mini cupcake holder, but if you use a 12 cup, that's fine as well, but just be sure to line it with some cupcake liners. You can get football liners or whatever for the occasion, but this is all I had on hand. However, be sure to fill them up three fourths full so that they will you know, have a nice little crown but if you don't have cupcake liners, you can always oil your pan. It's just easier to serve your guests when they're already in the cute little liners, okay guys? So let me fill these up and we're gonna get them in the oven. All right, so we're gonna pop these in my little air fryer and we're gonna bake them probably between 10 to 12 minutes and just check on them and when they come out, just check on them when, after they puff up and uh, use a little toothpick or something to see that it comes out clear. So then you'll know the cupcake is ready, all right? But it's gonna vary, especially if you have a regular, uh, a standard oven. I don't have a standard oven like you guys know. I have an air fryer, but hey, it works. All right guys, so I wanna quickly explain something. So when I was filling up the muffin tins, I always usually say up to about three fourth full. And that's for bigger muffins technically. When you're using the mini muffins, I would say about two thirds full because when you overfill them, look what happened. So I did, this is the result of the overfill. So they kind of did a big crown and this one even burst it apart. So these are the ones that I didn't overfill with the rest of the batter I have. So I would say only fill it up to about two thirds full so that it'll just get a mini crown and it's not over. Okay guys, so that's how I want this here. Okay, so our cupcakes are cooled completely. So we're gonna make our chocolate ganache. So in the pot I have one cup of full fat coconut milk and in the bowl we have one cup of chocolate chips. So now that the coconut milk has completely gotten super hot, but not a boil, to a boil. You're gonna cover up those chocolate chips and you're gonna let it sit for at least two minutes so it can start melting. I left that milk to sit on top of the chocolate chips. And then what you're gonna do is just get it all whisked up. It looks kind of loose right now, but it will stiffen up. I promise you. As you stir, mm, it smells so good. See how it looks? So once it cools down, it will get thicker. So what I'm gonna do, just for video sake, I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for about five minutes until it gets a little bit stiffer, okay guys? And then we'll come back and pour it on top of our cupcakes. All right guys, so now we're gonna make a royal icing for decoration. So to start, we're gonna use one and a half cups of powdered sweetener and you can make adjustments as you go along. Oops. So I'm gonna start there, and then we're going to add 
one tablespoon at a time of plant-based milk. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon. Let's start off with a tablespoon and a half to get the consistency that you need. You can use this for like piping it for a border for cookies. You can use this for just decorations on top of cupcakes. But this is just a simple, easy way to do it. See that? See like that. Really, really stiff. You want it stiff. So we're gonna take that icing that we made. This is a thick royal icing. We're gonna put it a bag inside of a cup just for control purposes. And just go ahead and put that in there. So I, that one's super thick, and it's just because it's like piping uh, words on or borders or lines, but you can add a little bit more um, plant-based milk to thin it out some if you're making like cookies. So you will use this as the border for the cookie, and then you would fill it in with a little bit of looser royal icing to make that really pretty shine and stiff crunch uh, icing that people have with those cookies that you buy at the store. So I had our um, ganache sitting in the freezer because my fridge wasn't getting uh, cooled off fast enough. So what I'm gonna do is frost each one of the cupcakes. So almost about a tablespoon of icing we're gonna do. So I wasn't satisfied with the way that I filled up the uh, muffin tins. And so I redid all my, <laughs> all the cupcakes again, because I'm a perfectionist, I have to have it just right. Anyway, and so what I did was just fill them up to two thirds full. So about right here, right? And then they just crown perfectly. So I also had some of the um, chocolate ganache left over. So I kept that in the fridge and it got to a nice thick consistency. So what I'm gonna show you is how I'm gonna just pipe it on and then actually make the little lines with some royal icing. So let me show you how to do that really, really fast. All right, so here's the icing. I put it in a little bag. So what I like to do is make my own makeshift um, piping bags instead of buying it. Just get a nice thick uh, Ziploc bag, put it in there closer to the edge, and then you can just cut it off the tip of it, okay? And I did the same thing with the royal icing. So it, you cut it a small little tip so that um, it makes nice even lines, okay? Super simple, super easy, so you don't have to worry about buying no piping bag, okay? So we're gonna cut the tip off of this. I think I want it to be a little bit thicker than that one. And let's see how it goes. You can make your footballs wider. You know, the first, the first one or two always kind of look a little wonky. We know that. All right, guys. So our chocolatey ganache cupcakes are all done. Check it out. So I like the a touch with the football kind of accents for the game. And you can line like a little basket or a plate with something like a green towel. That's all I did here was use one of my little cute kitchen towels and just to give it that kind of a grassy feel look. So yeah, I think you'll like this recipe. It's really good, really simple to make, but it comes out so chocolatey and delicious, especially for those chocolate lovers out there. You're really gonna love this one, even apart from football time, all right guys? So anyway, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, guys, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, okay? So I am Rosa, and I will see you on my next video, okay, guys? Bye!